Good morning, folks. Today we'll hit space weather, radio astronomy, electric science, geomagnetic history, and I did two recent interviews worth checking out. But we are starting with our star, and while there were no significant solar flares, plasma eruptions, or solar wind disruptions here at Earth, we've got things we're watching, and they begin with the large plasma filaments on the south. They have survived the trek so far. Hopefully, they don't erupt until after they turn out of view. While the solar wind is calm at the moment, we expect it to become enhanced this weekend when the stream from the southern coronal hole arrives. It's a sizable opening and is likely to produce a significantly enhanced stream. Meanwhile, the sunspots that produced the M-class flares of last week are departing on the north. Goodbye, active region. But we already have a new set to be watching, incoming on the south. So far, they are just becoming visible couple of areas to keep an eye on actually, but they are providing evidence of their potential with the umbral and coronal magnetic fields. We'll have eyes on all of this over the coming days. Let's get some more eye candy here. This is the Wallaby Radio Telescope in Australia, mapping intergalactic sources in various regions of the sky. It would be great if James Webb had a radio component, but truly, most of the great scopes in these wavelengths are indeed on the ground. Up next, they're investigating the electric currents and associated models in the solar plasma, the activity layers of the sun. They are finding that all of their errors are the result of, quote, a lack of realism in the models. No truer a statement could be said about how they study space plasma, which is why they tend to miss the mark in cosmology and the solar micronova. Good paleomagnetism study here revealing the peak of the magnetic field in the Holocene, which happens to be in excellent agreement with previous studies. Appears the peak was about 4,000 years ago according to this study. We've seen that range from 3,000 to 5,000 years ago, so this seems to be an excellent narrowing of that gap. Lastly, folks, we did two great interviews recently, an hour with Circle of White Light Radio out of Ireland, and about 45 minutes with Greg Reese from the Reese Report. Both are listed in today's link list below the video. We greatly appreciate your support. Also below the video are your key resources, our books, playlists, and more, and links to Observer Ranch. Be part of the future. Check out the updates, our nonprofit made to support the community, and more. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.